All right, so this video is going to help you understand and memorize, I wouldn't say memorize, I would say remember the values in radians of the unit circle, right? And the reason why I say um, remember instead of memorize is because once you understand, logically understand where these values come from and you'll be able to remember them because they'll make, make logical sense, right? And therefore you won't have to memorize them and it will save you a lot of stress and make your life a whole lot easier. So this is the only way that to me makes sense and it's easy and I, for me I've been using this for years, okay? So I start off with a beautiful circle right here. Um, excuse me, everybody knows circles like that. <laughs> um, so I've cut the circle right there, right down the middle. And so from here to here, we have pi, right? And because we've cut the circle, you know, in half, that means that this side, the top, is equivalent to the bottom, which means this, since this is pi, that down there also has to be pi, and therefore, when you combine them together, you have two pi, right? Okay, so. Right? Something like that. Right, let's move forward, right? And so, we look over here, and we have pi, 2 pi, right? Now, let's say we want to find the values for pi over 3, right? Step number 1, take pi and divide it by thirds, or, in other words, take the top and divide it by thirds. So, let's do it right now together, just like that. And now you have 1 two, and three. So this is one third, this is two thirds, this is three thirds, right? So we're just going to write pi over three, or one pi over three. Over here we have two pi over three, because it's two out of three slices of the pi. Remember this is pi, right? And there's two slices out of the three. And over here we have three pi over three. And of course, my favorite part, just like that. And this value is the same as this value, which is pi, right? Now, remember how we said that the top would be the same as the bottom, right? Because we just sliced it in two, right? So the same thing we did at the top, we're going to do at the bottom, right? So let's divide the bottom in three, one, two, and three, right? So now when we look at the whole circle, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Now let's write our values. So this would be four pi over three, five pi over three, and six pi over three, which is, of course, equal to two pi. And this is equal to this, right? Perfect. Now, take a look at this and tell me, do you see something interesting? Do you see something? Well, obviously, what I'm looking at is this 4 corresponds to this 4 here, and this 5 corresponds to this 5 over here, right? So that's just an easy way of remembering uh, how to write these values, right? So you, first step, Divide the circle into the little um, slices. If you want pi over 3, divide it by thirds on each side. And then you can write the numbers down. And so now you know that this has to be 2 pi over 3. This has to be 4 pi over 3 and so forth and so forth. Now let's continue. Let's do another one just for fun and giggles and all those good things. Right, so let's do... Pi, pi over 4, right? So remember, step number 1. Divide pi, or the top half, by 4, right? So let's do it very nicely, just like that. And now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, right? And let's put our values. Oops. 
So this must be pi over 4, right? Because remember, this is pi, right? And so since we divided it into four little slices, then pi must be divided by 4. So therefore, this must be pi 4, right? Of course, right? So this is 2 pi over 4, or in other words, pi over 2. Okay, you see? I just reduced that fraction. And over here, this must be, because we're looking here at the 3, so this must be 3 pi over 4. And this must be, since this is 4, 4 pi over 4. And that makes sense, because if we cross this out, this pi is the same as this pi, right? So remember, we just cut the circle in half, and so this top is equivalent to the bottom, right? Is you just slice that right in half. And so what we did on the top, we're gonna do on the bottom. So let's slice that into force as well. Just like that, it's beautiful. And then, right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And so do you know what value this would be then? That's right. 5 pi over 4 and see how this corresponds with this 5 right so the next one must be 6 pi over 4 right and this one must be 7 pi over 4 and this must be 8 pi over 4 which is equivalent to 2 pi right and so 2 pi matches 2 pi right there perfect now it's your turn Try to do the next one on your own. Right, that's my circle. <laughs> okay, well, it's not the best circle, but you know the deal. So this would be your pi. This would be 2 pi. And see if you can find the values for pi over 6. And so I'll give you a little hint, right? The hint is that, remember step number one, um, divide the top by 6 slices. And then step number two, do exactly what you did on the top to the bottom, and then you can use those corresponding values to write the radians, okay? So <clears throat> try that and let me know how it goes. And if you need any help at all, give me a post, a comment, whatever, and I'll hit you back up, all right? Okay, thank you, bye.